Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk about some old Disneyland attractions that still have pieces visible in the park, but they're not there anymore, and i got to tell you, it might seem like I have something against kids, but you know, I love kids, I've got two of them, so that means something, right? Just, just watch the video. I am back over by Chippendale's Playhouse, and you see these little bushes in this creepy little cave thing going on back there? A long, long time ago, back in the early 90s, when these were a really popular thing, they used to actually have a ball pit in there, and it was filled with a bunch of little acorns. And all the little kids would go in there. But I think a lot of those ball pits kind of disappeared towards the mid-90s because a lot of parents didn't train their kids in the way of the potty. Now, another part of Toontown that has changed quite a bit since it first opened is Goofy's House. When it first opened, it was actually called Goofy's Bounce House, and the inside was filled with, like, bouncy material, like something you'd find at a kid's play party, or some, you know, and all this, instead of carpet, it was all bouncy. You can see there's some benches down here. That would be where the parents used to wait. A lot of this stuff, unless you feel it's kind of, it's got a little bit of a squish to it in here, now this large, hard, kind of concrete chair or whatever does not. Some of this furniture was moved in after the fact. But if you ever come in here and you kind of feel the walls, not so much the bottom, but the tops, they all have a little bit of a squish to them. And that's because this carpet wasn't here. It was those big inflatable balloons. All this fun, cool stuff is in here. But unfortunately, because it was a liability, there's a chance that a child, just like that one little baby child, could get hurt. I could see how a company like Disney wouldn't want to risk getting sued by some kid getting hurt, some parent not watching their child. So unfortunately they gutted all the bouncy stuff and the fun went away from Goofy's house. And nowadays it's kind of a nice just shady quiet place to hang out. A couple little things you can do in there. Parents can take a break. Now for quite a few years the area actually sat with nothing in it. It wasn't a bounce house. It was just a place to walk through and it was kind of boring until they built this. This is actually a cool little playgroundy area with more kind of squishy floor. You can kind of feel me bouncing a little bit. And they've definitely done something with it. It's not what it used to be with a bounce house, but it is a place where kids can play. Now here in Fantasyland, another thing that's changed quite a bit over the years is right over here. You can see it behind me. Back up those steps and through there is the entrance to the old Skyway that used to cut all the way through to the Matterhorn back there and end up in Tomorrowland. And that disappeared sometime in the mid to late 90s. And I don't think it's ever coming back, but all that's left is that house. Maybe you can see it up there. Now this little cave behind me in this little water area actually used to be part of Nature's Wonderland, which is a mine train kind of tour thing that used to go all around Frontierland back before Big Thunder opened. It's another little part that has changed, but they kept a little piece of it just to kind of remind us of what it was. In fact, as we're walking up here a little bit closer, you can see some of the tracks are actually left over. And let's go take a look. They are right in there. They've actually shuttered that cave. If you take a look, there are the tracks. And you can kind of see them all the way down through that tunnel. Right, guys, I'm standing in front of Fort Wilderness. A long time ago, you used to actually be able to go right inside there. And if you see up top, they used to have these little gun emplacements that would fire, sounds like a cap gun. But some child had a finger hurt because their finger was in the trigger and they were messing around and they fell or something happened. And now none of us get to go in here anymore. Maybe you can kind of take a peek. Some of the cast members get to go in there. There's some stuff. Generally not so much interesting, but another piece of Disneyland we don't have access to and is no more. Hopefully one day they'll reopen it. Maybe something a little bit safer for our digits. The fact the closest we can get to going in is it's actually a public bathroom. So it's nestled between one side of the rivers of America and where the canoes load over on the other side. And back here behind Fort Wilderness is actually a little cemetery. I wonder if there's a spot for that little kid's finger. Well guys, I hope you liked watching this video and I hope you learned a little bit about Disneyland history and I also hope you learned that children are your responsibility. Take care of them, make sure they don't ruin any more attractions for anybody else. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.